food shortages are here now. We're starting to see it in my area. You're seeing a lot of, especially at Walmart, you're not seeing store brand food no more in the food department. What got me caught on to this is I make deer attractant, right? You mix salt, sugar, all type of stuff and use Kool-Aid to make a scent, you know, to help them find it. Well, I'm noticing I cannot find generic Kool-Aid anywhere. You can't, we can't find Weiler's, Flavor-Aid, all Walmart brand, nothing. You can only find this right here. Name brand Kool-Aid, that's all you can find. And this stuff is three packs for a dollar. Back last year and the year before, we was able to buy store brand 10 packs for a dollar. We're seeing more and more of this in our area that, especially Walmart, you're not seeing the generic brand foods anymore. You're seeing the more high price foods, the, the more, you know, like a lady told me the other day, she said, I'm not going to pay a dollar sixty for a can of corn when store brands 70 cents. The problem now is when you're buying groceries, you might be having to buy more name brand stuff than you used to. A lot of people refuse to buy store brand off brand stuff, right? Because if it doesn't have a certain name on it, they don't want to buy it. People don't realize the same companies that's putting out the name brand stuff also makes the store brand they just put a different label on it like let's say green beans you know you may the store brand you may get a few stems in it or something like that that you have to pick out you know it's a it's the same nutritional value but it may not be the, the top of the line top dog vegetables in the can you know what i'm talking about where they're perfectly everything's perfect on them a lot of people won't buy generic brands we used to call them white labels here you know what who remembers walmart with the white label great value stuff you remember what I'm talking about. Some of you do. But we're seeing this a lot here now with, with the uh, store brands just not being available. Like, And another thing, like some the store brands that are available, like Coke, so say a, a Sam's Choice Coke, it's $1.50 now. Who remembers when that thing was $0.67 cents a couple years ago? Now it's $1.50 for a diet, caffeine-free Sam's Choice Coke. I know some people say you don't need to drink that nasty stuff. I'm just using it as an example. You know, it, it's harder and harder to find store brand. And peanut butter, it's getting hard to find generic peanut butter. You have to buy the more expensive name brand. Peanuts, regular old peanuts. We're seeing a shortage of that in our area at stores. Our local Dollar Tree used to carry all kind of spicy peanuts and like it. Now there's no peanuts in the store. Guys, the shortages are here you may not be seeing it because you're still seeing your store full, but if you pay attention, it's the name brand more expensive stuff. That's what you're seeing. If you have a IGA or a UGO in your area, like today we stopped by UGO, that store is no longer cheap to shop there. Yes, you may find some off the wall stuff, like today we found bacon trimmings, which is just the end pieces, a two pound or three pound pack for a dollar ninety nine so we bought it you put it in your beans and stuff like that when you cook your beans but meat same price as it is everywhere else milk unfortunately walmart's still the cheapest place to buy milk around in my area it the shortages are here they're just not affecting the name brands as much right now the store brands I, i'm thinking they may be a thing of the past here before long and we're going to have, be forced to buy you know name brand food and that's another way they get you look at the price like corn and stuff even walmart brand of beans and stuff that used to be 50 cents has went up now you know 70 80 cents a can sometimes a dollar a can of cheap chili pick your flavor on it you know whatever company you like that stuff has went up a dollar to two dollars a can guys it's getting rough out here to buy groceries I mean, it's been rough but it's getting rougher and one thing i want to talk about is all the the uh rice shortage we're here we recommend that you store rice we do but you've got to have other stuff with that i know somebody's going to say you can live off rice and you'll be fine go back read up on world war ii prisoners of war our soldiers that were put in prison camps at how much weight they lost and how much physical labor they had to do and all they were getting was rice you know one or two cups of rice a day and water that was it maybe some bread look at how much weight they lost you're going to need more food in your system can you survive on just rice probably are you going to be able to eat rice every day and go out here and and work like it's going to have to you're going to have to work in a shtf event where you're constantly going you know it's not sitting down in front of a computer it's none of that you're outside in the heat the cold you physical activity you're going to need more than rice the problem now is i've told you it's too late to prep 
price-wise. What I mean by that is you can still prep, but you're not going to get your preps cheap like you used to could. You're not going to be able to chip, prep cheap anymore. It's going to cost you more money. The longer you put it off, the more money it's going to cost you, and the availability of the products you're wanting is going to get harder and harder to get. We've all seen prices explode over the past two to three years, and they're not coming down. They're not. You know, somebody may say, well, eggs went down. So what? Everything else went up, right? Bread went up. Beans went up. And some of y'all probably noticed, too, if you buy vegetables at a store, by the time you get home and you leave them in the refrigerator for a day, they're, shr they're, they're wilting up. They're shriveling. If you buy a salad pack or anything like that, if you don't eat it the day you bring it home, it's going to be brown the next day. Apples. I love apples. I found a brand called Ambrosia Apples at Walmart, and I bought them because they were the cheapest apples there. And I'm noticing them. You know, if I don't eat the whole bag in two or three days, they start get going bad because they already have bad spots on them. The quality of our food has gone down that we're seeing in the stores, but the price has gone up. And we're not even going to talk about shrinkflation. We've talked about that enough. You know, Gatorade Powerade used to be 32 ounces for a dollar or, or 75 cents. Now it's 28 ounces for 2 to $3, right? Guys, they're just going to keep nickel and diamonds us until we can't afford to eat. It's just the way it is. This year's been a hard growing season here. We had a pretty good storm come through last week, and unfortunately, our corn was ready, but we was going to give it, you know, four or five more days, let everything, you know, get the way we wanted it. Well, that storm come through, and it broke down every one of our stalks, so we had to go out there and handpick all of our corn. We got plenty of sweet corn, you know, but like this year, our cucumbers, they didn't do that good. The Our grapes, they didn't do good. Our cherries didn't do good. We've, we've seen a lot of issues this year with our food growing here. We have got we did good, don't get me wrong, but a lot of the stuff that usually does great, excuse me, the kitten's over here, that usually does great, we had issues with it this summer. It's just it's one of those years, you know. I don't know why it happened. It could be the temperature. It could be all the smoke. One thing we noticed in our area, after all that smoke come down from Canada, a lot of our trees and our fruit trees turn, got a yellowish hue to it, like, not fall colors, but like something was wrong with the tree, you know, like it was diseased or something. And we noticed it after the smoke come down here and left. Could that affected some stuff? I'm not sure. But it, it is very strange because we was riding down the road one day and you could see it on trees on the side of the mountain. You know, it's like it's not time for these trees. To, and we've had decent rain here. We have not been in no drought situations. We get rain about at least once a week, maybe every two weeks but that two week rain we get a pretty good one for a couple days here in this area but to get back on point with these groceries where's the store brands you know this stuff here we don't drink it i put it i mix it in with my stuff that i put out for the deer their mineral sites now the kitten's getting it the mineral sites so that they can smell it and find it and everything right three packs for a dollar you know it <laughs> Guys, these prices are just going to keep going up and going up. It's just the way it is. There's no stopping it. You can call it Biden infl Biden inflation, whatever you want to call it. The problem with it is you can call it inflation all you want, but what it comes down to is corporate greed. Corporate greed is what it is. They're going to make as much money off of us as they can. They're going to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze till they can't squeeze no more. And I don't think we'll ever see prices come back down to what they were previously because they know now people will pay it. They'll complain, but they'll pay it, right? So, guys, it, it, I know how hard it is out here trying to get groceries right now. So do the best you can with prepping. On the side that doesn't have to do with food, go to yard sales, go to go to estate sales, go, go to auctions, whatever you can do. There's deals out there on the equipment and stuff that you need. I do recommend if you're going to buy a generator, buy a new one with a warranty. Don't buy a used one unless you're really good at working on them. But... Food-wise, guys, it's just tough right now, and it's going to get tougher. I hope you can prep up as much as you can. Sorry about the noise. The kitten's got a bag over there playing with it. Everybody stay safe. Keep your head on the swivel. Be aware of your surroundings at all times. Protect yourself and your family at all times. At that moment, you're the only person that can do it. Guys, get out there and get prepped up as good as you can. I hope you're prepped up good on food already, and you're just topping stuff off right now. Stay safe and keep prepping.